What's going on guys? Welcome to another video. I am out with my buddy Zach again and today we are fishing for trout. The original plan was to go back up in some skinny creeks and catch some redfish like we did in the last video. But we decided we wanted to also find some new area and we kind of came up skunked on the redfish in those new areas. What we have found is a decent amount of sea trout. We've been catching them on top waters, we've been catching them on gulf shrimp, we've been catching them on a little bit of everything and it's kind of turned into some pretty fun fishing. So it's gonna be a great video. Thanks for watching guys. Come on. That is a nice freaking trout, man. Cool. Dude, I thought that was a red. I thought it was too, how big it was. I think that's aggressive. I mean, that's probably like 17, 18 inches or so. Yeah. Here, I'm gonna not touch them just because of how fragile they are. Mm -hmm. Unless you want to take a pick. <sighs> yeah, that's good. Nice. That's funny. I was like not even expecting that at all. I it was a redfish, honestly. Yeah. yeah, that's why I like wasn't making a big deal when he hit. I was like, oh, it's a little, you know, a little puppy drum. Yeah, like 16 inch drum. What do we got? We got a baby trout. Ew. Look at how cute that thing is. Second I'm going to leave him in the water. You got your pliers? Yep. He'll probably come unhooked before then. Uh, been kind of a grind to a mud hook. There you go, guy. Oh, still there. Still sitting there. Eat it again. Look at him. Woo! He's kind of trapped because of the boat. Nice. That was cool. This has been the really top water of the day. This is a Rapala skitter walk and I think it's a baby trout pattern. It's uh, been doing pretty freaking well, man. But Zach's gonna cast it out and show you guys how to use it, how we've been working it throughout the day. So he's just gonna take his rod tip and he's jerking it back and forth. And that's creating that action. It really just looks like a wounded fish. And the trout have really been reacting to this fast retrieve, this really aggressive retrieve today. We just stopped to fly the drone a little bit. And I'm casting over where we already motored through. I just got hit on the last cast and just uh, caught me a nice little uh, speckled sea trout on top water in the middle of the day. It's pretty, uh, pretty freaking sweet if you ask me. Whoa. All right, dude, I don't want a hook in my hand, so that'd be great. Hang on. Gators, gators, son. This is a mess. <laughs> you come here, dude. Yeah, top water and a fly and a gulp. Yep. Choked it. You know, it's funny now. Like we, 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 without question, wanted to release that first big one that we caught this morning. But like, I'd keep that thing in an instant at this time of day. <laughs> Eating it like fish bites. Dude, just like that. These guys will school up by the hundreds when they're this size. And I think that's what we got going on right at the mouth of this creek right here. Because it seems like 
Every single time Zach drops that gulp, he's just hooking. Every single time Zach drops that gulp, he's, you know, getting a hit or hooking a trout, so. Pretty, uh... This is the, the gulp shrimp that's been the, the champion at today. So gulp are different from other soft plastics. This thing's actually kind of like a sponge. So it sucks up a lot of uh, flavor, we'll say. I'm pretty sure it's just like a shit ton of menhaden oil, but fish absolutely love them. Pro tip, do not leave them on your hooks at the end of the day, because it will shrink up into a freaking rock and then it's a pain to get off. So for the most part, the gulp shrimp bite has been on this really, really slow retrieve, kind of like Zach's doing. So it's, the shrimp is basically on the bottom. He's letting it rest for a bit and then just twitching it. And uh, it's kind of funny because the trout have been hitting it aggressively on top waters, but then at the same time, they're wanting a really slow retrieve on the bottom. So it's been a little bit of both as we've uh, figured out throughout the day. Once we go to the next spot, I'm just gonna film you with the big camera. You might wanna grab your fly rod. Whoa, whoa! Wily little guy. I'll take these all day. It's just, it's low stress fishing, or just, it's, it's highly underrated. That's that's why it always seems like when we're uh, we're snook fishing and catching bait, it ends up being more fun than the actual snook fishing. Cause you're not, you know, having to sprint towards the nearest structure or, you know, broke off four times and you keep re-rigging. It's just like you're bullshitting with your buddies and you're catching a couple fish. Four times on your Yep. <laughs> it probably doesn't even look that bad in the video. Anything for the fishing. That was actually my one regret when I almost got struck by lightning in the boat. I didn't have the GoPro going. I was like, oh, that would have been sick. It probably would have attracted the lightning more, probably. Anything for the video. When you play. Yeah, I saw it. I saw it come up. Pulled up here to wait for the tide to come up, and we literally just saw a tailor right there next to our boat. He went away, so we're not going to cast in the immediate area until we get a better line on him. We don't want to spook him. I got a red in the area in front of me. I'm not sure exactly where he was. He already came up and hit something, and then he tailed for a bit, but I'm trying to be pretty still. Wait until we see him getting poked with a push pole. should be feeding in the area pretty regularly but the last fish literally was on top of us before we saw him and then he spooked so i'm gonna try and be super silent i can barely see kind of silhouettes but should i move the lure or not you're gonna have to catch me through that should i move the lure or not oh you're one of those Hour. He's gonna eat this while I'm untangling. <laughs> goofball, goofing. Shh, giant redfish. I see him. hit him? Had to have. That'd be the only thing I could think. Because it was like literally right in his face. Think so? Was it a bad spook? Yeah, I mean, if he saw us, it would have been over, but... Did he spook again? 
Eight. Did he actually? Yeah. I think he's still there. He's still there. He ate one stuff. Why is he missing it? How does he keep missing this thing? Is there a rubber hook? What it seems like. Insane, brother. That's insane. Hey, we gotta haul ass and get out of here. <laughs> it's actually uh, it's pretty late for work, but uh, we you always got time for redfish, especially when it's on a freaking fly rod, man. That's dope. That's so dope. We literally played this. I'm looking at the clip right now. It's been five minutes. It's been he five ate, five he, minutes and 45 seconds. He ate like five times. Hey, you finally got him to stick. That's what counts, man. That's what freaking counts. This fish was super happy. Unlike the others. Yeah, the others were not so happy. Fighting so hard to go. <laughs> Still got him. Still freaking got him. Southern style flies. Southern style flies. It only takes 10 tries to hook up. <laughs> nice. Finally, dude. Nice. Hey, man. Freaking got it done to end the day. Couldn't see it, but there, there's, a, there's, there's, there's a fist pump there. All right, well, now Zach is uh, royally uh, late for work, so we're going to skedaddle right through this rainstorm. Right now, it is... 3 o'clock. I want to thank you guys so much for watching today's video and for all the support over the last year. It's crazy to think about, but this is my first video of 2021 and I've been doing this YouTube thing for about four years now. If I'm being 100% honest, my this channel, this whole YouTube deal, it's not really where I want it to be, but that's life. That's how things go and for me, the Marine Corps has been my priority for the last three and a half years, as it should have been. I can tell you guys that in about six or seven months, this channel's gonna have a lot of changes coming to it. It's gonna have a lot of big things coming to it, and it's gonna be significantly more consistent than it has been over the last three and a half years. So thank you all again, happy new year, and I'll see ya in that next one. Been a little too nice to y'all. Now I gotta up price for y'all. Snake eyes on dice for y'all. Shoulders on ice for y'all. Frozen. A6 all the hay. I won't get involved today. Got lost in the ball and age. I'm flipping the bars. I'm flipping the, flipping the, flipping the. All record, off record. I still count wins when they got it. On record, off record. I let them take advantage. I was wilding. On record.